welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this neon graphic liner look. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off by priming the eyes using the Morphe Floridity Concealer in 3.55. I'm just gonna add some of that onto the lid and blend it out really well to prep for shadows. Next, I'm gonna go into the Carnival XO Pro Palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics in collaboration with Stacey Marie. And using one of the gray shadows from this palette, I'm gonna go ahead and start sketching out the look of the graphic liner that we're gonna do. I'm only using a really small amount of this and it doesn't have to be perfect. We're basically just kind of mapping out where everything is gonna go. Because this is a more like intricate like, kind of look, it's a lot easier to create like, you know, the shape and everything when you have like a guideline to kind of go off of. So now that we have everything all sketched out, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in that little space in the middle with some eyeshadow primer. And the one that I'm using is also from Be Perfect Cosmetics. I'm only adding that primer in that little space there because we are gonna be adding shadow. So I'm just gonna carve it out using a flat brush and then using a smaller brush, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in those little corners and everything. Moving on to shadows, I'm gonna jump back into that Carnival XL Pro palette and using the shade Lit, I'm gonna start filling in the inner third of that little space that we just filled in with our eyeshadow primer. Then next, I'm gonna go into the shade Inferno, and this is more of like a red orange. I'm gonna add that to the center and just kind of start building that ombre effect that I'm going for. Then for the outer corner, I'm just gonna go into some brown shades. I'm first gonna use the shade Hall and add that to the outer corner first. And then once I have that color on, I'm gonna go in with a darker brown from the same palette and just add that to the very, very corner to complete that ombre effect. So now I wanna add some brightness and kind of like that neon effect to the inner portion of our ombre. So I'm gonna be using two neon pigments from Melolops Cosmetics. I believe the lighter one is Beam and the other one is Radiant. I'm not really sure what the names are, but I'll make sure to put it down below in the description box. But the lighter orange, I'm gonna go ahead and place on the innermost portion of that ombre. And then the darker orange with a more like of a red tint, I'm gonna add that to the middle. Next, I'm gonna go in with some green eyeliner from Melt Cosmetics, and I'm gonna start creating the base for those green dots that you guys see on the finished eye. I'm pretty much just creating like an ombre effect as well with these, so I'm starting off with a darker base, and then I'm gonna kind of build around it using lighter colors. I'm only gonna use a small amount of this because we are gonna be blending out the edges, so I just wanna make sure it's still like really easy to blend out. So once we have our base down, I'm gonna go in with some pigment again. This is also from Melolops Cosmetics and this is their green pigment. I'm just gonna start adding that along the edges of that green eyeliner that we applied and start creating like that ombre effect. Then to bring back that darkness in the center of the dots, I'm gonna go in with some green shadows also from the Carnival XL Pro Palette. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that into the center and just kind of make sure to keep those edges really well blended. So now it's time to add our black liner. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Life Liner and I'm using the liquid liner part of this. There is a pencil on the other side, but I'm just gonna be using the liquid liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in all the empty gaps that we have from our sketch. In hindsight, I probably would have gone in with a gel liner first and then added like a liquid liner to make like any corrections or to sharpen things up. I feel like a gel liner would probably been a little bit easier to work with. So that might be an option if you guys wanna try that too, maybe use a gel liner first and then go in with some liquid liner to kind of make everything like sharper or to correct anything. But from here, I'm pretty much just using that liquid liner to fill in all of those empty spaces that we have from the sketch.
Then going back in with that Morphe Fluidity Concealer, same shade that I used to prep my eyes. I'm gonna use that to just kind of correct any mistakes that I made while I was adding my liquid liner. For mascara, I'm gonna be going into the Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara. I'm just gonna do a couple of coats of that before I apply my false lashes. I am gonna be doing a really dramatic lash today, but I was super excited. I feel like it kind of went along with like the really dramatic like graphic look. So I'm gonna be using a pair of lashes from Crystal Lashes and these are in the style Millionaire. I also used a black lash glue just to kind of make sure everything stays nice and dark at the lash line. So I'm gonna pop those babies on using some tweezers and then just make sure to press them in with my natural lashes so there's no gap in between and you can't see like any skin there. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and pause with the eyes for a second and move on to skin. I'm first gonna prep the skin using the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Supercharged Essence. I'm just gonna give that a second to dry on the skin before I add my next primer. Right after that, I'm gonna be using Revlon's Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Primer, um, but I'm gonna pretty much add that on to like the center of the face where I have like the most like pores and like texture. And the same thing with the essence from Laura Mercier, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in using a brush. For foundation, I'm using an oldie but a goodie. This one is Jouer's Essential High Coverage Foundation, and I'm using a mixture of two shades. I have Cinnamon and Cafe here. I'm gonna add that onto the skin using a brush as well, and just kind of make sure to buff it in really well. This is a really full coverage foundation, so you definitely don't need a lot. A little bit of this goes a really long way. Next up is concealer. I'm also using concealers from Jouer. This is their Essential High Coverage Concealer. And I'm using a mixture of Dulce de Leche and Honey. I'm gonna use Dulce de Leche first because it is a little bit darker. And I'm gonna add that onto all the areas that I wanna start to brighten. So the under eyes, the sides of the nose, along the sides of the mouth, a little bit on the cupid's bow as well as the chin, and just blend that in with the brush as well. Once all of that is blended, I'm gonna use a little bit of honey just to kind of do some extra brightening. But for this shade, I'm only gonna add it on the inner most portion of the under eyes because that's where I typically like to have like my extra brightness. Next, we wanna go ahead and set all of our concealer. So I'm gonna be using a banana powder from JCap Beauty. And to set the rest of the face, I'm also gonna use JCap Beauty's Aquasurance Compact Powders, but I'm just gonna use a mixture of those two shades to set all the areas that I didn't set with that banana powder. Next up is bronzer. I'm gonna use Anastasia's powder bronzer in the shade Mahogany just to kind of add some extra warmth and definition into the skin. So I'm going along the hairline as well as the cheekbones. I added a little bit on the nose as well as the jawline. I'm gonna switch between my bronzer brush and my powder brush that I use for those powder foundations just to kind of keep everything nice and seamless. For blush, I wanted a shade that was a lot warmer and kind of like more like rustic, if that's the name. Um, so I used a mixture of these two shadows from the Violet Boss Vibes palette. It's pretty much just mix those two shades together and I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my blush. You guys know I've been really loving blush lately, so I'm pretty much gonna take that onto the apples of the cheeks and just make sure to really blend it into the bronzer. <laughs> Thank you. 
Moving back to the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and start smoking out that lower lash line. Not too much though, just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with Lit First, which is that orange shadow that we applied first. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start buffing that onto the lower lash line using a really small brush. I'm gonna kind of keep it on the outer third of the lower lash line and just make sure to leave like the inner part of that nice and open so everything stays bright in that area. Then to add a little bit of extra brightness to the inner corner, I'm gonna use the shade Pillow Talk. And again, I'm not using a whole lot of this, just a really, really, really small amount to create that subtle like brightness so it has a nice contrast with the black eyeliner that we have in the inner corner. And that's pretty much all I did for the lower lash line as far as shadow is concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my mascara onto my lower lashes. I also added some individual lashes to the outer corner. I love the way it looks, I don't know why. It just looks so cute to me when I have like those individual lashes there. So yeah, they're like really short ones, so nothing too crazy. I already did my brows off camera, but I did want to add some like extra like faux brow hairs on the inner portion of my brow. So I'm using LA Girls a Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Black, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my angled brush to create those faux brow hairs there. I definitely wanna highlight the nose, so I'm gonna be using Beauty Bakery's Milk and Honey palette and taking the bottom right shade from that palette, I'm gonna start highlighting the bridge, the tip, and the sides of my nose. I actually did end up adding some highlighter onto my cheekbones. I haven't done that in a while, but for some reason I just felt right for today's look. So I did end up using it later on. Right now I'm just basically just highlighting my nose. Moving on to lips, I'm gonna first line them using Melt Cosmetics All Day Every Day Lip Liner in the shade Edible. I've used this liner so many times and like for different lip looks, but it's a really good like deep brown liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line the lips with that. And then to fill in the lips, I'm using a mixture of Anastasia's liquid lipsticks in Starfish and Sand. I believe Sand was in like the holiday lip kit that they did. It came with like three or four different like liquid lipsticks and like a lip gloss. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the darker of the two first all over the lip and then go in with that shade Sand because it is a lot lighter. I'm gonna add that to the center just to kind of create like, you know, a little bit of like that pouty look. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then from here, this is kind of when I decided that I was gonna add some highlighter onto my cheekbones. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of that onto the cheeks just to kind of give the skin a little bit of that extra glow. But that's pretty much it for this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well if you wanna get notified anytime that I upload. And yeah, I hope you guys are all safe and doing well and I love you guys and hopefully I will see you in the next one.